All right, let's get back. Hello and welcome to KMAC Talks Sports, uh, the weekly picks and uh, fantasy tips and advice show, you know, however you want to call it. My, give me my sleepers of the week and just an analysis of every single game that you're not going to hear on uh, an ESPN or a Fox Sports 1. This is a, a special type of analysis. This is... Um, coming from someone who has no credentials ever playing football so you know that's the one you should go with clearly so now but I have won a few fantasy games in my day and won a few minutes a few dollars betting sports <laughs> now it's legal pretty much everywhere now so whatever uh, I mean the Cubs have it in their stadium that's pretty dope they kick out Pete Rose and then the Cubs get it in their stadium <laughs> that's some irony there if I've seen it Anyways, let's get to football. Uh, most exciting game out there right now. I know the um, it's coming up on the World Series, and I feel terrible as a baseball fan. I didn't know they were that close to the World Series. I honestly haven't been watching the playoffs this year. It's it's kind of upsetting. I know that maybe I'm just because the Red Sox suck, but I just feel like it's not as exciting i know you're saying baseball normally isn't exciting i just feel like it isn't as exciting it was a weird year it was like a quick weird year like did it even happen i don't know anyways let's get to sports let's get to football baseball's a sport too but let's get to the exciting one football uh and our first game we're gonna go with is the chicago bears at the carolina panthers the panthers are favored by two and a half the over under is 44.5 um, start with the over under. I I think uh, I think you go over here because uh, you know that's usually my motto. No, I'm I think you go over because Teddy Bridgewater is back to a hundred percent and looks great. And uh, I think if anything, these guys will be back and forth at it, kind of neck and neck to the end. So I think I think they'll each score around the twenty four ish range. I think they'll just about go over there. Uh, it'll be really close, but 44, I could see it being 24, 21 easily, you know, and it's it, it goes right over. So here, if I had to, I'd bet the over. Um, but God, what disrespect do the Chicago Bears get? What do they have to do to gain respect around here? You know, they're uh, what are they're four and one now. I mean, it's it's crazy. They even lost the one. They're like the Super Bowl champions this year. Are, are you not? You're still not respecting them for all they have. Nick Foles, David Montgomery, Allen Robinson. He's a baller. He's he's incredible. But Anthony Miller, Jimmy Graham, uh, and other guys. <laughs> no. And on the defensive side of the ball, obviously you got. Um, uh, what's his name there? Uh, Cleo, Cleo Mack. But um, yeah, the Bears are just getting no respect because uh, I get it because the the Panthers are on a three and zero win streak. They're they're just as hot, uh, definitely hotter actually, not even close. So the Panthers are just are looking great. Teddy Bridgewater's all the way back. We saw it with that twenty yard run. Uh, and we continued to see it last week against the Falcons. He battled them neck and neck and came out with the win. Now they're three in a row without Christian McCaffrey, and they're about to get him back. I mean, the Panthers are set up for a surprising season right now if they can keep this momentum going. And it comes at a perfect time getting the Bears, who I think they could beat. Yes, the Bears are 4-1, and one, had a surprising victory against the Buccaneers. Very surprising. If it wasn't for Brady having that senior moment, I think the Buccaneers would probably have won. But, hey, you know, uh, you get what you get. It's over. We can't put an asterisk on it. So the Bears are 4-1. and one. But, yeah, they're probably the weakest 4-1 and one team we've seen in quite a long time. I'll agree. I won't give them too much respect here either. With, with Nick Foles, he might give them some magic. I mean, maybe they magically do get into the playoffs now that there's a second wild card spot but I don't know I think this is the beginning of their slide downhill here I think the Panthers win and cover uh, obviously they'll win by three or more I'd stupid so just bet the it should be a pick em game pretty much but bet the Panthers I know at home doesn't matter but maybe it will seeing the 
turquoise blue in the state. I don't know, but yeah, it's um, uh, or are they letting people in in North Carolina? I can see that maybe too. But um, yeah, I, I got the Panthers winning this one by probably well more than three. I think uh, at least seven to ten. Uh, I just I like the uh, I like Teddy Bridgewater. I like what the Panthers are doing. They just look like they're playing just hard every game. They're that that kid who's like. You're more talented than him, and you know you're better at basketball or football, whatever. You know you're better than him, but he's just hustling his ass off whole practice, and you just want to take it easy, and you're like, God damn it, dude, stop hustling around here, man. I'm trying to stay on the starting lineup and not do anything in practice. That's that one kid, he's always fucking hustling. Like, God damn it, stop hustling. Stop working hard. I want to not work hard here and stay on the team. I'm more talented than you. And then he gets the spot over you, you know, because he works harder he hustles he you know and that's what the Panthers seem like they are they're that team that's hustling and working hard and I just see them beating the Bears here I just don't think the Bears are that great of a 4-1 team they're better with Nick Foles than they were with uh the other guy whatever his name I already forgot his name Rex Grossman <laughs> just kidding uh but yeah no I got uh the Panthers are gonna stay hot they're hot without McCaffrey though I think McCaffrey is almost coming back this week, if not, probably next week. Uh, and, yeah, I think they'll be on a four-game win streak when he comes back. If he comes back this week, they're definitely winning, but I think they'll win without him. Mike Davis is incredible. Uh, I mean, I know the Bears' run D is pretty good, but I'd say start Mike Davis again in fantasy if McCaffrey's out. He scored 20 points or more every time. He's like a guaranteed 20-piece at this point. So start McCat and Mike Davis, uh, you know, start. I love Robbie Anderson. Once again, got, you know, about 100 yards. What are you getting, 93 and seven receptions or something like that. Robbie Anderson, if you haven't noticed him, he's doing better, as good, if not better, than DJ Moore. I know DJ Moore went off this week. Uh, so I just, I think, I think the Bears are kind of weak on the pass right now, too. Usually they're better, but I think they're kind of weak on the pass, so... I would go, you know, start Robbie Anderson. That's your value. He's probably still pretty cheap, and he gets a guaranteed 15 or more at this point. Uh, it seems that Bridgewater loves him, so start Robbie Anderson. You could start DJ Moore again. I think both them. Um, and, you know, that's it. Mike Davis, DJ Moore, Robbie Anderson, definitely a value. On the Bears, not much to see here. Robbie, Robbie, <laughs> Allen Robinson. Allen Robinson is pretty much it. That's that's about it. Maybe David Montgomery if you're if you're risky, you're feeling frisky. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, that's pretty much Allen Robinson on the Bears. Uh, Nick Foles isn't even. I don't think he'll do much here. They'll play an ugly little slow game, and the Carolina Panthers will win and cover. Bet the Panthers and bet the over.